Fumiko Hayashi was a Japanese writer of novels, short stories and poetry, who has repeatedly been included in the feminist literature canon. Among her best-known works are Diary of a Vagabond, Late Chrysanthemum, and Floating Clouds. Hayashi was born in Mojiku, Kitakyushu, Japan, and raised in abject poverty. In 1910, her mother Kiku Hayashi divorced her merchant husband Mairo Miyata and married Kizaburo Soai. The family then worked as itinerant merchants in Kyushu. After graduating from high school in 1922, Hayashi moved to Tokyo and lived with several men, supporting herself with a variety of jobs, before settling into marriage with painting student Rakuban Tezuka in 1926. During this time, she also helped launch the poetry magazine Futari. Her autobiographical novel Diary of a Vagabond, published in 1930, became a bestseller and gained her high popularity. Many of her subsequent works also showed an autobiographical background, like The Accordion and The Fish Town or Cyan No Show. In the following years, Hayashi traveled to China and Europe. Starting in 1938, Hayashi, who had joined the Pen Butai, war correspondents who were in favor of Japan's militarist regime, wrote reports about the Sino-Japanese War. In 1941, she joined a group of women writers, including Ineko Sata, who went to Manchuria and occupied China. In 1942-43, again as part of a larger group of women writers, she traveled to Southeast Asia, where she spent eight months in the Andaman Islands, Singapore, Java, and Borneo. In later years, Hayashi faced criticism for collaborating with state-sponsored wartime propaganda, but, unlike Sata, never apologized or rationalized her behavior. Writer Yoshiko Shibaki observed a shift from poetic sentiment towards harsh reality in Hayashi's post-war work, which depicted the effects of the war on the lives of its survivors, as in the short story Downtown. In 1948, she was awarded the third Women Literary Award for her short story Late Chrysanthemum. Her last novel Meshi, which appeared in serialized form in the Asahi Shimbun, remained unfinished due to her sudden death. Hayashi died of myocardial infarction on June 28, 1951, survived by her husband and her adopted son. Her funeral was officiated by writer and friend Yasunari Kawabata. Hayashi's house in Shinjuku Ward, Tokyo, was later turned into a museum, the Hayashi Fumiko Memorial Hall. In Anomichi, where Hayashi had lived in her teen years, a bronze figure was erected in her memory. Many of Hayashi's stories revolve around free-spirited women and troubled relationships. Joan E. Erickson's 1997 translations and analysis of the immensely popular diary of a vagabond and narcissist suggests that Hayashi's appeal is rooted in the clarity with which she conveys the humanity not just of women, but also others on the underside of Japanese society. In addition, Erickson questions the factuality of her autobiographical writings and expresses a critical view of scholars who take these writings by word instead of As has been done with male writers, seeing a literary imagination at work which transforms the personal experience, not simply mirrors it. In Japanese women writers, 20th century short fiction, Noriko Mizuta Lippet and Kyoko Yurie Selden point out that, other than her autobiographical portrayals of women, Hayashi's later stories are pure fiction finished with artistic mastery. Hayashi herself explained that she took this step to separate herself from the wretching confusion of Diary of a Vagabond. Yasunari Kawabata and other attendants at Hayashi's funeral, 1951 Numerous of Hayashi's works have been adapted into film, Hayashi's biography also served as the basis for theater plays. Notably Kazuo Kikuta's 1961 Hour Uki, about her early life, and Hisashi Inoue's 2002 Taiko Tate, Fui Fui, based on her later years, including her entanglement with the militarist regime. Thanks for watching.